RG3 to a wide open man, it's Mark Andrews. Your feelings changed like the weather. Salutation ladies and gentlemen, week one is finally complete and we are back at it again. No fun style. So we had our draft recently. After the draft, people usually have three reactions to it. One, they look at their squad and they think, this looks pretty shitty. And after the week one, they are pleasantly surprised. Situation two, they are like, damn. This team is the best. And then they are disappointed after week one because their team was shit. Third reaction, you finish the draft, you look at your squad after your hard work and diligent research and everything, and you're like, wow, this is shit. Oh shit. <laughs> and then at the end of week one, you're like, my assessment was 100% accurate. On another note, during the draft, I was thinking no one's going to go for my sleepers, but lo and behold, my sleepers were taken left, right, and center. At that moment, as a commissioner, I was so proud of this fine league. Everyone did their due diligence and homework going into this draft. Now, make no mistake. As a fellow team manager, I hope all your teams crash and burn and then reincarnated as a drug mule, you would be molested and bitten by a rabid AIDS infested llama. But god damn it, as a commissioner, I was so proud. Tiny tear of pride dripping down my eyes. <coughs> For my reefer, man. This shit good. <laughs> well, with the conclusion of week one, there were a lot of surprises. Scoop! He scored a very impressive 171 points. And that's definitely a score that you can win with. On his matchup grade, he got an A- minus in his performance. Now, the only issue was that he went up against Gang Green who just so happened to be the highest score of that week. He tallied 198 points. It was so sad, I felt so bad for school. I couldn't win with 171. Then you have this guy, I am Girly Man, who scored a putrid 119, and he actually won. Lucky for him, he was up against the lowest score of the week. Zang Bangers, he got banged pretty hard. 116. In Monday Night Football, I Am Girly Man was destined to lose, but luckily, Ben Rapisberger, I mean Roethlisberger, the last replay, he decided to throw it to Vance McDonald, and those two catches for 40 yards was just enough to give I Am Girly Man the win. So naturally, I messaged Zangbanger, and his response, which is totally understandable, was... Senator. She... Sphinx Club? You were in the Sphinx Club. My uncle used to tin bar over here. Detective Sidner, sir. Well, that does it. Until next time, stay classy.